Yo, what's up, you guys? Question. What are you supposed to do if you need money by like tomorrow? Or let's just say soon. Whether it's a payment for your bills, your rent, or whatever. But then you have no freaking clue on how you're going to get it. And if that's you, well then, you've come to the right video. And this one's going to be short and sweet, but it's all good. Because there's no reason to complicate these things. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it simple. Alright? Let's do this. In her book, The Game of Life and How to Play, Florence Govoshin talks about a time when a student told her that she needed $100 by the following day. And it was, in her words, a debt of vital importance. And so, what did Florence do to help her? Here's what she did. Ready? She spoke the word, declaring that spirit was never too late and that the supply was at hand. That's it. But, you gotta understand, let me make this clear. She didn't just speak a bunch of empty words, okay? Nah, dude, she spoke the words in faith. Big difference. Check this out. The same day, later that evening, the student called up Florence on the phone and told her of the miracle that happened, where she said the thought just came to her. It was like a random thought that she should go to her safety deposit box at the bank and examine some papers. And so she did. She looked over the papers, and at the bottom of the box, guess what she found? It was a brand new $100 bill. Boom. And she was shocked to find it because she said she never put it there for sure because she's gone through the papers many times. So the question is, what the heck really happened? How did it get there? Well, they said it might have been a materialization, just like the way Jesus materialized the loaves and the fish in the Bible. It's possible. Either way, even if it didn't materialize out of thin air, it's still a dope thing that happened to her, right? Because she got her money, which is the main point. All right, real talk now. What about you? If you're in need of some money at the moment, where you owe something by tomorrow or the day after, here's what I want you to do. I want you to follow intuition. And you might be wondering, Josh, how the heck do I do that? Well, it's simple. Let me ask you. Do you have any hunch to do anything or to go anywhere? And don't overthink it. It's usually the first thing that comes to mind, like a still small voice or even a feeling. You got it? And don't worry if it doesn't make any sense either. That's okay. These things transcend reason, folks, because it has to do with the superconscious mind. Now, whatever your hunch is, whatever it is you're led to do, here's the next step. Do it. <laughs> Go for it. For real. Don't argue with it. Rule of thumb. Never violate a hunch. Never violate a hunch. Why? Because they're the hounds of heaven, Florence says. They'll lead you in the perfect way, where you'll always be on what she calls the magical path, the path that leads to wealth and perfect self-expression. So be fearless, you guys. Be fearless in your faith. Remember, God is your supply, and spirit is never too late. Never too late. Just surrender and trust. So whether the money appears through materialization or some other means, it doesn't stink and matter. You will get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I'm pumping more of these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And if you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.